Hi guys, this is Will again. Uh, I'm just going to show you another little video of um, just some simple things that I've been doing in this house uh, of a friend of mine. Um, this whole room was just plain white. Just real boring white. Uh, it was like a flat, just like a contractor's flat white. Um, and what I've done here is I've just tried to make um, some of the rooms look a little bit bigger. Some of the rooms look a little bit more spacious. Uh, this one looked a little small. You know, the roof was lower than some of the rooms downstairs, so it, it didn't have a lot of depth to it. So what I'm doing is um, I'm creating elevation by paint structures. Um, I'm just manipulating the walls to make them look higher. And what I mean by that is I'm manipulating the walls by, I don't know if you can see that, by making the, if you can see here how I brought the stripes up, but I brought the windows down, they're suspended from the ceiling. And that just gives you a little bit more of a, um, uh, the ability to bring up the height of the room a little bit. You're making the room a little, look a little bit taller by bringing the windows up instead of starting down and having a big space from the top going up um, you have a bigger space coming from the bottom um, going down now which makes those windows and things look a lot taller um, baseboard and the crown molding is the same color um, this is this the, the stripe here in the middle that's more of like a, a creamy kind of color I have a better picture of it and I'll post it on my Facebook um, but that's all I'm doing. And now I've restriped the wall here. I just took some of the white and some of the green that I had here and I just mixed it to make these colors here. This one here, just real simple stripes, um, breaking that wall down. So that way when you look at it, they can hang a picture. The bed's not centered, but um, I did this a while back. Um, I put this faux, this faux finish on here. Um, I'm not done here. I'm wrapping. I just started this room in here. I did this like three months ago. So I'm wrapping this room into here. I'm going to bring this wall around and make it look like it's a real piece of rock. Um, but that's what I'm doing here. I'm leaving this all white, bright white. So that way it gives a lot of definition as you come in to this room. Everything's white, just a big bright white. Um, I'm going to redo those cabinets. I'm going to paint this wall here green, but not sure if I'm going to do stripes or I'm going to do a faux finish like this, but in a green um, two-tone, almost like a skip trowel kind of texture uh, with paint and um, texture mixed together. And then you can pull it like if you're doing a skip trowel, but you just put different color textures on. And it's, it's not real thick. It's just, it's easier than trying to paint, you know, and do a lot of things that are more difficult. Now what I got going in here, I'm gonna bring this stuff here. I added the wood trim too, uh, just to break it up a little bit, you know. So the two colors go together really well. Um, I'm gonna bring this, uh, they've got a nice shower, they've got a nice uh, block wall, glass block wall there. And this room here, to that line here, I don't know if you can see that line, it's real faint. I'm going to do the same thing as I did in here with that orange and um, I'm going to paint these walls probably with like a few stripes. I'm going to elevate this, I'm going to elevate the, the, the windows like I did here. See that again? I'm going to elevate the windows, bring them like they're hanging from the ceiling and make this room look taller and then I might do this whole wall here, this whole wall here. I might do that whole wall and then see these have holes for lights you know I might hang some more lights there and put some um, put some nice hooks here you know for the shower um, maybe put like a little shelf here you know put like a little shelf here that matches um, maybe a couple towel racks like that you know whatever they want to do um, they kind of just leave it up to me so um, anyway it's just simple little things that you can do. And this is real easy. I'm gonna get into this later. I'll give you a demonstration on how to do this later. 
that's a lot easier than it looks and it's beautiful um, and you want to try to stay consistent you know and just keep that the element of surprise when people come in they're like wow that's how do they do that you know and I'll show you that more later on my next video anyway if you're like me and you want to make your house nice and you want to do some simple things but you don't know how to do it then I am your guy totally because I'll show you some really simple th tricks to do some really um, beautiful things that even you can do no matter what way you pull the trowel no matter how you put the paint on it's gonna come out beautiful and there's gonna be a lot of clears that you're gonna want to use and I'll even show you some simple trips tips on how to um, smooth a wall or smooth a piece of wood that when you paint it you know instead of using coats and coats and primer I'll just show you some really simple tricks that you can apply the material you can sand it really fast and then you can cover it with a latex paint and you'll get a better outcome than if you sit there and try to put coat after coat after coat of water-based latex primer or um, you know things like that on so anyway uh, I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna do and uh, maybe I can get some feedbacks from you guys too. send them on my phone my 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 Facebook or my um, or my email it's William G Mayville jr. at gmail.com and you can send me some emails of things you're doing and uh, I'd like to see them and maybe I can give you some tips like I said I'm not trying to charge you anything I, I'm not trying to get anything out of you I use painters cock from Home Depot which is a great great tool I use three quarter inch naps from Purdy uh, from Home Depot um, and simple things like that there's a lot of little cool things that, that I'll use you know for instance I use a lot of this it's a polyurethane look Pro painter polyurethane. I use a lot of this. This is great stuff, guys. You know, I use a lot of the speed wall because speed wall covers so much better than a lot of paints. Even though it's not inexpensive, it just has a great dry hide. And when you paint it and it dries, it covers really well. Especially if you're just using it on a base coat to go over something for a faux finish. It is great stuff. Um, use a lot of glidens. People say, oh, well, that's cheaper paint. Well, why are you going to paint a $1,000 paint underneath for a base coat when you're going to put a clear over top? That's that's just, you're just wasting your money. You know, it's just, you're just, it's like painting a car with, or, or making a car out of gold and then covering it with spray paint. Why would you do that? Anyway, um, well, I'll be back in a while and I'll check out my next video and I'll show you how to do the application. With this faux finish I want to do on this wall. Uh, I gotta get to work. I don't want to get fired. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, but I'm glad you uh, glad you're tuning in, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Anyway, my name is Will. Bye.